By no means did I think going into Heap the Pig Liver was going to be some masterpiece, some absolute banger 10 out of 10 series and even thinking it was going to be like a low-key 9 out of 10 but after watching reincarnated or i should say reborn as a vending machine i was certainly going in with a more open mind because reborn as a vending machine as stupid as that is was surprisingly decent i genuinely enjoyed that anime but i'm thinking you know what let's see what heat the pig liver is all about what i got out of heat the pig liver was was no not endearing or really wholesome or even that great now it probably is the worst thing i've watched this season but even so it's not really something that i would say was so ungodly bad it's a one out of ten so the mc reincarnates into another world as a pig of all things actually i don't want to say it makes total sense but it kind of does for this setting because he eats pig liver and that made his stomach really upset and it apparently rest in pepperoni the man he goes on this whole monologue about him being reincarnated which is fine you know i'm going in i'm thinking like all right you know it's taking a little bit of time to get this build up but he's talking about how this might be actually a dream of him being reincarnated as a pig and not really fully getting the gist of everything and that's when yesma jess comes and uh, finds him in the pig pen and she is actually able to read minds and can read his mind. And honestly, I thought that was pretty cool, like a good way to set up this story because in Reborn as a Vending Machine, they're not able to actually tell what he's thinking. And that's when it kind of had me interested. I'm like, okay, he's reincarnated as a pig. Let's see where this goes. And slowly but surely, it started getting more and more degenerate. And not really even in a way that I'm like finding super tasteful because he is a down bad mother trucker. Jess finds him in the pig pen, realizes that he's actually a human being, well, but reincarnated as a pig, takes him out of the pig pen, drags him, and brings him to, I believe, her house or the house that she's possibly serving. She brings him into her room and he's like, man, this is such a weird dream and this is actually kind of awesome. I'm getting, I'm getting treated really good by a really beautiful girl and he starts thinking all these really degenerate thoughts about her skirt and how beautiful she is and that's fine for the first couple of times but it started just getting quite annoying i would say he just kept going on about how down bad he is for her and how he went to even see her nude and she was like up for it too i'm thinking like what the hell like you're actually down bad for this pig man as well like she knows it's a dude but it's still kind of a pig you know I, I don't know what's going on with that she isn't even like phased by it or really against it about all his found bad thoughts that he has she's a little too cool with it i would say that was a little um awkward that was a little surprising as well i would say like after the first six minutes or so it, it was all about him just making these uh comments about her and it just started getting annoying and i don't really know what to expect from the rest of the series if it's going to be like this all the time maybe it's just this episode where they really emphasize all the down bad and horrendous spots it already went from like okay this piqued my interest to a certain extent to you know you're not even doing the jokes and being down bad and tastefully in my opinion what went from you know i was thinking maybe this will be as good as vending machine and be actually surprisingly decent turned into like i don't even know if i want to watch another episode and hell i didn't even finish the first episode i was 17 minutes in and just started going forward going forward because i'm like okay well, I don't really want to hear all this dialogue BS. Let me see if anything really important really happens. And I, I mean, besides her saying that there's been wars and there's been mages that have turned people into pigs and other animals, I guess that's a thing. Maybe if the MC wasn't such a degenerate, which is ironic coming from me. I mean, as you can freaking see, I am uh, clearly a degenerate. You're probably thinking by now that I'm like totally against fan service and oh, you just don't like things that are down bad and a little bit lewd and etchy and by no means is that true i'm all for the etchy and the anime at times you know <laughs> you know i'm no stranger to these things but it has to be done 
somewhat tastefully, I would say. I mean, I could be totally wrong. This could be a very big fan service show. So, I mean, if that's really the main point of it is it's fan service, uh, that's fine. I'm not really against that. For anybody who's enjoying this anime, I mean, fair enough to you. I don't know, man. Just wasn't really my thing. Maybe it gets better and they cut back on all the really stupidness, I would say. Uh, but I, I don't see myself actually watching any more episodes. There's way too much good stuff to be watching this season to really waste too much time on the bad stuff. But hey, you don't know until you try. You don't really know until you watch. I've been surprised before on stuff that I was thinking that it was going to be absolute dog crap. And it turned out to be actually pretty good. So, sadly, was not hitting, man. Was not hitting. But I hope you all did enjoy the video. And please use code ILYA on all G Fuel products. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you all have a fantastic day, night, evening, morning, whatever the hell time it is for you. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.